Your mind will tell you to call and text your ex every day. Follow them on social media, see what they are doing, see where they are going, be in their open space all the time. But how is that working out for you? Your mind will tell you that they are everything in life. Your mind will tell you you can't live life without them. Do you really want your ex back? You have already tried all of the above. Did it work? Now listen to what I'm going to tell you. Whatever your mind tells you to do, do the opposite. A commitment to life to help every man, woman and child. To be remembered for making a difference to humanity in a thousand years. Teaching thousands to teach millions, to save billions. So the viewer's question for today was, I tried everything and I can't get my ex back. Your ex needs to know that you can live a happy life without them. Your ex needs to know that you are an independent and strong person. Your ex needs to know. They have to earn your time now. Do not call or text. Do not go out of your own way to see them, including social media. If your ex calls or texts, don't pick up. Your mind will tell you to pick up, but don't do it. Call them or text them back after at least two hours. Don't text too much and don't call for too long. Don't apologize. Just state you are busy with a few things. Say what you have to say and hang up. Remember, if you want them back, then you have to become unavailable and busy with your own life. Why would they want you back? If they can get all what they want from you without being with you in a relationship, why would they want you back if you're acting like you are all over the place? Don't make the mistake of showing them that you have been affected. Do the opposites. Look good, smell good, be good, act good, work on life and work on yourself. People make the mistake of chasing their ex. The more you chase them, the more distant they become. People always want things that are attractive and at a distance. Be that person. They want what made you attractive to them in the first place. Looks, charms, interesting. Only this time you don't give them too much attention. Make their attention come to you. How do you do that? Be busy, be motivated, be outgoing, be happy, be focused in life. It's important to take some time to reflect on why the relationship ended. Was it due to a specific incident? Or were there ongoing issues that led to the breakup? If you can identify the root cause of the breakup, you can work on addressing those issues. It's important to give your ex space and time to process their emotions. Trying to force it too soon after a breakup can be counterproductive and may push your ex further away from you. Focus on self-improvement during this time. Work on becoming the best version of yourself, both physically and mentally. This can help to make you more attractive to your ex and also improve your overall well-being. Communicate with your ex in a respectful and non-confrontational manner. Be open, be honest about your feelings and let them know that you are willing to work on the relationship if they are open to it. Be prepared for the possibility that getting back together may not be the best outcome. Sometimes relationships end for a reason and it's important to accept that and move on if that's the case. It's important to be patient, take things one step at a time and prioritize your own well-being throughout the process. Allow yourself to grieve. It's normal to feel sad, angry or heartbroken after a breakup. Allow yourself to feel these emotions and acknowledge them without judgment. Don't try to suppress or ignore your feelings as this can prolong the healing process. Cutting off contact can help you detach from your ex and begin to focus more on yourself. 
Remove your ex's number from your phone, unfollow them on social media and avoid places where you are likely to run into them. Focus on self-care, take care of yourself physically and mentally. Eat healthy, exercise, get enough sleep and do activities that bring you joy. Engage in hobbies or interests that you enjoy and connect with friends and family who support you. Reflect on relationships. Take some time to think about relationships and what you have learned from it. Reflect on working and what didn't work out and what you can do differently in future relationships. Set goals and work towards them. Set new goals for yourself and work towards achieving them. This can help you feel a sense of accomplishment and purpose and also help you focus on present and the future. Seek support. Talk to friends or family members who you trust and who can offer you support and encouragement. Seeking professional help from a therapist or a counselor who can provide you additional guidance and support. Just remember this is the most important thing. Remember, your ex needs to know that you can live a happy life without them. Your ex needs to know that you are independent and strong person. Your ex needs to know they have to earn your time now 